For 15 minutes, why not? Why not? Yeah. Spice it up a little bit. Yeah. All right. And for the chain. I wonder. I nice think throw, oh. but he needs, to, shot, he needs to pull the head down. Beautiful triangle by Luis. He doesn't have to fully lock it up. He needs to concave the spine. No, don't arch. No, no. The more, the more. Whoa! Beautiful idea. That was a racing idea, but he gets out of the triangle. Oh, yeah. I think Louise elongating the spine gave Kango the ability to start posturing up even more. You want to be concave and you kind of want to be like a, a ball and chain around your partner's neck. Weigh them down. Weigh them down as much as possible, yeah. Or he could have turned Lock, yeah, Locked. Yeah, exactly, yeah, for sure. What is the pace on? Yeah. All right, back to this uh, battle between the... Oh, nice little hip switches. See, I want Kango to high-step his, his left leg. Mm, I see what you're saying. Yeah. That's definitely a about passing. Yeah. I personally, like, they taught me, and I did not get it. Right, right. Mm. 
It makes a world of a difference too, because if you have good Toriandos, and then you can always step your leg to the inside position, and before they even get a Rolo Stella Eva, you're bringing your knee up to your chest and pummeling it out. Minus one inside. Maybe, yeah. maybe I'll go down. I should go down that route. can go now he has his he had the hand on the but i wonder if he was going to go for a toe hold like a sit back toe hold but he opts to just look to try to pass this low knee shield gets his butterfly hook inside his left leg on top of louise's right leg this could facilitate a pass but the knee shield is the biggest issue i wouldn't say the leg on bottom is the biggest issue and louise gets his bottom leg back we're at 39 minutes now Beautiful. Nice. Louise ends up on top, but Great job, Kango, oh, Beautiful. a little bit of a scramble there, but Kango, uh, Kango ends up on top. Nice driving forward, but again, it's tough because you're driving into that knee shield. Butterfly hook again. We have to figure out a way though to clear that that low knee shield, and that's probably like his toughest battle. I like the pressure, and I like the side to side, but he's still he's having a tough time getting around the legs. It's kind of repetitive. Mm -hmm. like they're resetting to the same position yeah. over and over. Yeah. A little bit of an off balance there by Louise, and we're back to Kango trying to pass, but he's still in front of the legs. I would rather see him go from an ankle grip with a right arm or the left arm and just start cupping the, the knee and bringing the knee so that there's a little bit of exposure of the hip. Instead of just the head first. Too. Yeah. The ankle's one thing, but the actual solidification of somebody's frames, especially when they're trying to de defend like a, a side control, is the knee and elbow. So once you pass the legs, you take the hand from the knee and just get the knee away from the elbow. Isn't that interesting? Last time I saw, the last match I saw King go in, he was playing guard solely. Just right. Called, just guard. I wonder, I wonder what, uh, we'll probably ask him if he, if he wins this match, um, what uh, incentivized him to just be the person on top the whole way through. Mm -hmm. I definitely think Luis is also a guard player too, so... It would have been a little, maybe a little bit like a mix of like some boring... Oh! Outside heel hook attempt! Oh, but it's a little... Uh, yeah. Lost the knee Kango oh, using okay. it as a means to get to the back, but... Oh, mm. Did not bite good enough. Yeah. Good uh, yeah still, they're very inverted. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. It's weird because there's no uh, connection so it gets a little dicey and you have to make something happen. Yeah. And Kango tried to make a leg entanglement happen. Mm. But Luis did a great job with his right foot on the hamstring. Yeah, I mean, line's clear. And then the gate's back. Now we're back to the square. Back to this uh, low knee shield position. Mm -hmm. We're almost 10 minutes in. This might, this might be... This could be. This could go all the way. I mean, I don't know how you judge... Uh, a match like this, especially when there's like a, a chain on the line. You know? yeah, there's OT to decide the winner. Right. That's what usually the matches are. EBI OT. Ooh, stepping on the leg, a little bit of uh, like some Rotolo action. Oh, slips and falls. Switching it up though, you know, yeah. trying something new. All right, guys, we got about 35 minutes left. There's a 45 minute match. We're down the first 15 minutes. A lot of back and forth. Louis doing a great job with his low knee shield, but not really pursuing anything from that position. I think more so keeping Kango away, where Kango is, has been actively trying to figure out ways to get around the legs to solidify a pass. Yeah. Oh, now he's like stepping in. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if he's going to try to hip switch here. I would have been sick if he did. Okay, he's, he's cleared the legs. Oh, damn, I would love to see him do Toriandos, but he's trying to, you know, get a little bit of a breakthrough here in this uh, headquarters position. I don't 
hard to see. Oh, it looks like a bee. I know, I think I know what kind of bug this is. <laughs> it is not a bee. <laughs> it will not like sting you. Um, it just like Dangerous lands on the ground. It's usually. It looks huge, but it's, it's gone now. It's camoed into the black map. No, oh, there it is. It's oh. coming back for us. Oh. I think we're going to be okay. All right, Kango still on top of this headquarters position. Nice. Okay, he's on top of the legs, and I like that he's crushed the legs to one side, but again, Louis did a great job with the legs, like, keeping uh, Kango at bay. Yeah. A little bit of an off-balance here. Oh, kind of wanted to get him into a close guard, but he puts himself, Kango puts himself back into that low knee shield. Mm -hmm. I like that head position. I do, too. He's keeping him nice and flat. Yeah. Uncomfortable. Yeah, Keep if he it. can if he can get his left arm through as like a, as some kind of a cross face, mm -hmm. and then maybe look to work from here, yeah, or like maybe a reverse cross face or like I'm sorry an over back grip, and then start looking to deal with the uh, the knee shield accordingly. That would help a lot because he's actually doing a great job from this position, mm -hmm. and Louise isn't really hand fighting uh, appropriately. Mm -hmm. Kango's actually been dominating the hand fight the majority of the time. Yeah, he's been the aggressor. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably switching to an Uma Plata. Kango doesn't want to be in this situation and opts to just fall to a side instead of dropping to two knees. Mm -hmm. And I think the Uma Plata defense was to go into the legs yeah. and he effectively goes into the legs and now it's kind of like a, it's, it's a, it was weird. It was like 50-50, but I didn't know if he wanted to go into the honey hole. Yeah, he could have chosen the path almost. Yeah. Back to this position. Toehold grip. I feel like there's two trains of thoughts on that toehold from the knee lock. I've heard it's bad for one group of people, and then I've heard from one group of people that they do it constantly. So I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not opposed to falling back for leg locks mm -hmm. as long as it goes, okay, I fell back for the leg lock with the intention being that I get some kind of control of the hip. So it's yeah. not just going to be a leg lock where my opponent's able to move around. Mm -hmm. Rather, I get the bite first, and then the entanglement second. Like get a solid bite. Yeah, and, and, and then like, and then yeah. Once you fall back, now your job is to like entangle the legs so the movement is done. Wow, nice back. Nice movement by Kango, trying to get up to that shoulder line to pass to north south. Steps on the legs, but you see that yeah, now he's now he's looking at the, to use a little bit of high step. I like that he uses the high step to get around that leg. And now we're right back into the knee shield position. I think he's going back into Luis's guard, almost like if he could. I think. I, I think. I think. No, I'm sorry to cut you off. I think it's more so like uh, he has these moments where he's going back and forth, and then there's only so much you could do that when you feel like, okay, I gotta chill out for a bit. And so he probably just goes back into the low, low, low knee shield. He doesn't feel threatened by. Oh, and Luis kind of gave it up a little bit, but puts it right back in. Um, so that's what my thought is. I think he does a great job with this left-right movement. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really get a breakthrough, and then he's like, "Okay, I'm just gonna camp here for a bit." Yeah. Camping. We've been working on that a little bit in our room. Mm -hmm. Trying to camp. Trying to camp more. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, nice. He did like. Well. Oh, but outside heel hook again. But his knee is kind of free, and Louise is trying to get his knee back in and. Kango does a great job freeing his uh, knee from the knee. Yeah, outside heel hook attempts to it. I don't think we've seen one for Beautiful, let's go. Yeah, and again, it's 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 not an easy heel hook to finish. No, I think I'm going to try to start working on it again. Definitely going to take a little while to get decent at it. Yeah. Nice by Kango. He's really putting on the pressure in this headquarters position. Yeah, he has been doing a nice job of keeping his weight forward, keeping I, his pressure forward. Yeah, I wonder if he's trying to make Luis to push him in a backwards direction and maybe trying to slap his leg in between his legs. But oh, yeah, it looks the, like he looked. Yeah, it looks like he tried to hit a hip switch there. And this is good for Kango because the legs are not only together but pointing in the opposite direction. If, uh, Kango's trying to pass to his right. This would be good for him because the legs are no longer in his way. Ah, uh, but Louise with that bottom leg. It's hard to get Oh, up. almost stepped. Oh! Maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe some leg pain. Almost there. He's past the knee. He's nice. climbing up. Oh, uh, but Louise with a little bit of a scramble. Oh, he into a body lock position. So this still isn't bad. Oh, nice. nice. That's very good. Oh. Cool. 
I'm kept with it. 30 minutes left. 30 minutes left. 30 minutes left. 30 minutes left. First pass after 20 minutes. See, this is why lines are important. Good people, it takes a long time. So, you know, you need all the time in the world to take a pass, let alone a submission. Yeah. Especially when you're this. Two opponents are at the same level. Luis does a great job. He gets uh, his legs back in front of Kango, and now Kango right back on the on the attack. He's trying to high snap, but he can't because Luis does a great job holding his leg. But Kango does a great job stepping on the foot and stepping his leg up. Nice. Yeah, great passing, great movement by Kango. Kango's very. The both of these guys. Yeah. Very good. Oh, Luis. It's a good match. Trying to off bounce him a little bit. Trying to rock his hips up to get a little bit of an off bounce, but Kango now. Trying to use movement and then trying to see if Louise will sit up to get a body. <laughs> Shield action by Louise. He's been very consistent. Switching between a Z guard and a low knee shield. Oh, Kango with the uh, butterfly hook. Oh, but his oh, it's leg. The headquarters. Yeah, the headquarters position. Nice. Nice. I like his legs. Yeah, the hip switches. Always getting back, planting his two feet on the mat, so he's always in base, and then he begins to move around again. That's a very good movement. Yeah. I feel like he might have trained some other places, so I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, Luis using an inversion. Kango conceding the position, but Luis not really using it to come up on top. Uh, he's pretty committed to staying on bottom. bottom. Yeah. He has a nice triangle with him. Yeah, you oh, see, that's exactly yeah. what I wanted him to do to get away from the, the knee shield. Now he's doing a great job. Oh. Now he's past the half guard. That was really good. That's very good. Yeah. I do like that. Yeah. Yeah. I would want Kango though to get his like get your knees up a little bit higher. Yeah, he's getting off. there. Cross your ankles if you need to. Okay. Yep. Work. Keeping the elbow high and away from the ribs. Yeah. Kango doing a great job. I would just want him to cross his ankles. Yeah. I usually work to more high right. now. I, you know, I like when they kick them, but they like to like try to lock underneath to really just Kango now doing a great job. He has all the time in the world to keep this elbow away from the ribs. Now brings the elbow over his chest, trying to bring it across the center line, but I think, I can't see, I don't know what, if Louis got his arm position back or not, but Kango's doing a great job staying in now. I imagine Kango has the ability to all these consistent. He was consistent for like 25 minutes. It was really good. That's impressive. Our passing's quite tiring. Tiring, yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, he did a good job of just understanding, okay, this guy doesn't feel threatening from the low knee shield. Mm -hmm. I'll camp here and then I'll start all over again until something happens. You know, it's, uh, it's the war of attrition. Yeah, and he started his you know, strategy a couple times ago. Nice, now we're going into a high mount situation. Luis no longer has inside position and his elbows are away from his ribs, so this is going to be really tough. And if Kango knows what he's doing, he can effectively get the submission from mount. Yeah, he just keeps working that elbow up, keeps that elbow tight. Yep. It's always pretty demoralizing when you lose a good mount, so it's okay. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. If you ever feel like you're losing the mount, you always windshield wipe and you just go from a mount to a side control or a neon belly. It's like, I'm not losing the mount. I, I'll lose the mount, but I won't lose top position. That's really smart. Yeah. I have yet to master the neon belly. Your legs, so. Your legs. I can't escape it, so I'll probably just figure that out. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Kango doing a great job. Has the arm, the elbow above the shoulder line. But. Luis using a bit of a block, but he doesn't have inside position. He doesn't have his elbow to his ribs. What is he trying to do here? I think it's kind of frustrating, I know, when I get to mount and everyone's just like really tight to their yeah. arms. Because it, you're, you're a step away from it. But, you know, sometimes, you're just taking the back too. 
too. Sometimes people just do a great job of making things a lot harder and more difficult for the person on offense. Mm -hmm. And if you get frustrated, you could lose a really good position, but Kango just doing a great job of not uh, getting discouraged. Yeah. He has 24 minutes. I yeah. Mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it. Keep, keep the matter position all the way through. And Luis is way more tiring and more stifling for, uh -huh. for him to constantly buck and bridge. And, yeah, it's true. Not fun being stuck in now. Yeah. Dang. Get out the back door. Come out the back door. All right, a lot more bucking by Luis. <laughs> But again, if he doesn't have inside position and his elbows are away from his ribs, it's going to be difficult to effectively do anything productive. See, he keeps... Oh! So good. So good. Keep doing that. Keep using your hips. Keep switching. Keep moving. Keep yeah. moving. Nice job maintaining now. So. Yeah, he, he is. He's definitely doing a much better job just maintaining the position. Yeah. What Kango's trying to do is he's, he's opting to go into a position where he leans a little bit to the side. He's not really off balance, but he's trying to use his chest to like pretty much like a walrus, just drive his chest forward, and then he could use his chest to take the elbow away from the ribs and then his arm, but whoa! I don't blame him. It's always heartbreaking to see those people get reset. Yeah. To, like, kill them. Keep fighting, baby. Keep fighting. All right, so Kango now. I'm okay, nice, they nice. hit him. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah. Nice, he's taking advantage of a little reset, but. Oh, Kango again, getting over the line. He's fighting. He's fighting. Kango's a little less tired. Nice, whoa. Aggressive hip switches. He needs to get around those legs though. He's already done it once. Now we're back to this head force position. Mm -hmm. Very evenly matched. Mango's definitely aggressive. Kango's done a great job. He's Effectively, like you said, has been the aggressor. Luis has had a tough time from the bottom position. I don't think he's had an answer to uh, Kango. Come up, come up. No, only that one offensive. I guess two offensive tacks. Yeah, the, uh, the the outside heel hooks. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Good to get someone off of you, though. So that's yeah. hard to escape now. So yeah, especially yeah, especially when somebody goes on top of you. Almost 25 minutes now. Yeah. Kango really hasn't slowed down that much, which is impressive. Stay consistent with that. Nice, right, beautiful right. hip switch and gets around the legs and back into a side pin situation. Very nice. Kango has a near side underhook like and now he's going into a leg drag situation. He's trying to get double unders here. Mm -hmm. He's trying to work on this double under situation. I would just switch, maybe switch my head position. Because I like, I like going from the leg drag and then taking my right knee on top of his leg and kind of going into like a shin to shin, like leg riding position. Okay. Oh, Maybe oh, like sick. Oh. That was really good. Like that was so good. Yeah. Yeah. Now Kango just needs to work his legs a little bit higher. Nice. Now we have a second opportunity here for now. And I wonder if Luis has enough energy to get out of this situation. Again, it's difficult per se to, you know, when, when somebody, you know, knows that you're trying to get the arm across the center line, but Kango is almost there, he's almost at that position. What's going on here? Is he going to go for the mount shot? Tries to, but he does a great job bucking him back down to mount. His arms are definitely a little. Nice, walks it up a little bit, the elbows above the shoulder line now. He just needs to 
straighten and ratchet his arm and then get his head into position. Yeah. Right now he's in a smother, like a, a smother submission situation, but Louise is turning his head minutes. to the left. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Not a bad option for making No, it's not. Yeah, if you need like a big reaction, especially if like the goal is to just get the arm across the center line. Yeah. Louise again doing a good job bucking and taking the arm down. Definitely Degree of panic. Kango looking good now. We're at 20 minutes. It's been 25 minutes. Kango has been the full-on aggressor. He's the person on top. Luis has had some breakthroughs with some outside heel hooks, but hasn't used the leg lock situations to end up on top. No, he's really stuck on staying on bottom. Which yeah. Hasn't seemed to be the recipe for success. No, yeah. It could be, could be problematic. Is he trying to get like a Nogi Ezekiel? Oh, he's smothering. Oh, he's using his hands to smother. That's, that's I so mean, that's tiring. That's, yeah, yeah. When you do it when you're tired and they can't breathe. Yeah. Or bear, but. Kango trying every trick in the book to get this arm across the center line. Oh, Kango still has his right knee. He has that arm. I think he wants to go into a Jujigatami from here. Go into an arm bar. He's trying to, I think, but Louise explosively can turn into him. So this might just end up in a situation where Kango ends up on a, like a bottom pose. Yeah. 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 And I think Kango realized that he didn't like how that felt and he, you know, abandoned that situation. Mm -hmm. Maybe, yeah, maybe just full commit to his yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And your wet rash guards all. Bring it all the way up. That's not a good idea. Back around, back around, back around, back around. We're at 18 minutes, 18 minutes left. Dang. Louise with his left arm weaved around the back, but he lets go. Again, I'd love to see Louise just get his elbows inside, getting inside of Kango's thighs, getting hands on hips and trying to go for a kip escape or at least a knee and elbow escape. These bridges are good, they've been effective, but you know, it's not it's not really doing a good job getting it back to a, an offensive side. You see Kango trying to weave that leg back in. Oh, oh. tried to go for a back step. Nice. And he still gets it. Oh, that's a nice. Nice. Yeah. 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 I can understand the frustration of just sitting on metal. Yeah. But Louise is pushing that leg down oh, and he no. gets it free. And we're right back into this situation, though. Beautiful. I have, yeah. Tough, tough. Nice back step, though. I like, yeah. I like switching. It. Sometimes it's, I mean, it doesn't really matter if you can hold the position for another seven minutes. Right, it's still yeah. not a win. Right, so. right correct. Yeah. So might as well just kind of try to see what what other options are available. Yeah. I just find it really hard to like take the back and get a submission started just from on someone who's just been sitting there for a while. Right. Kind of like taking the back and you don't get it like initially, that strangle, it's just like getting that strangle right off the bat or starting that movement. Oh, Louise trying to throw up a triangle, but yeah. 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 working, Louise. You are tired. You are tired. You are working. You are working. Uh, hmm. 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 16 minutes left. Right back to this low knee shield position. Kengo has obviously been the person with the most success on, on top. Louise refusing to just, again, change it up. Just look to get some kind of leg entanglement with the idea of coming up from bottom, or at least some kind of sweep. Yeah. I wonder if we're seeing sell out strategies for the small we get down to the last couple minutes. Yeah. Oh, Kango, Kango using his head position, but Louise does a great job with his uh, legs, keeping his legs in between his opponent and himself. Because Kango does a great job moving the legs, but he somehow ends up in this position. All right, now we're in this leg entanglement situation, and I think Kango's trying to attack a toe hold, opposite stand up, maybe tries to roll. Okay. It looked like he was going into reverse mount. And now he's, oh, knee bar, but then Louise thumb posting has a foot behind the hamstring, so this is going to be tough to finish. Uh, 
really need that knee oh, line. Yeah, and they need the knee line, and if you're losing, you can try the second one. Nice. Luis is looking at his face a little bit. It's an attack. Oh, nice. But as soon as I say that, he goes right into an attack. Get a, gets, he doesn't get a bite on the heel, but he definitely reaps the leg. Tango doing a great job. Luis is not Heel hook of his own? Dang, that's funky. That was nice. That was nice. So sometimes I ah. get heel hooks where your opponent's leg entanglement actually traps himself. Like the leg entanglement the opponent has on you works against them when you try to heel hook the uh, free leg. So that was really smart with the Nice. It now ends up in the mounted position. I think he, his leg is a TK switches, I like that. He, he doesn't want to end up losing everything, so he just goes into a kneel. That's a good strategy. I wonder if maybe attacking from side control or something else. Yeah. Definitely boxing him. I would imagine this has been quite the match. Dang, quite the cross face. Uh -huh. Really good cross face pressure now. 14 minutes to the left.
you just trapped the arm. Oh, that's nice. Good job trapping the arm by Kango. Oh! Turn it into a wow! Defensive work, a lot of offensive work, but Kengo gets the job done. Great job. Very nice. Wow. Thank uh, you. Hey! Yeah. Congratulations on your win. Yeah. That was a great match. Yeah, yeah, that was sick. Very good. Yeah. Like 20 minutes, I dominated him, but uh, yeah, 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 no point yeah. submission. That's yeah. kind of, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was it, it was great. You, okay, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, you honestly had a, a really dominant performance. Uh, a lot of situations where he was doing a great job defensively as well. Yeah. Um, was there anything that you felt was surprising to you? Did you feel like, okay, the way the match is going is how I want it to go? Did you feel like your plan was essentially play uh, the top of the leader? Because I, I hear you're more of a guard player, but you essentially yeah. just wanted to, to play. Yeah, my primary top. goal was uh, like uh, this time I wanted to play on top. Right, yeah. That's right, because I him. Yeah. Yeah. I think I could do. I could. I could. Yeah, 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 really yeah I did yeah, 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 yeah. it. So, but uh, the way it looked, there was a lot of left right passing, and then I felt like you weren't. You, you didn't feel threatened by the low knee shield. Yeah. So you would camp the low knee shield, and then hip switch a little bit, then go back to left right passing. Yeah. And then we were like, okay, cool, camp. You know what I mean? Like, yes. Yeah. 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 I, I, obviously, that guy just. I just don't want to. Being on top of him, yeah. like I, I just wanted him to work a little bit, yeah, yeah. extend his limb or push him, push me off, right, right, so right. I can use a kick switch as well. Yeah, it looked so, really good. Yeah, yeah very that was my plan. And, uh, yeah. it, a little bit worked, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, but I'm not happy with the submission. Like, no, I uh, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, go, go, uh, of course, of course. There's always more things to work on, but again, everything looks good. Your movement looks great. I love your movement. And then overall, uh, getting the submission at the end. I know you'd be really about it sooner, but you know. It yeah, is it, it is what it is. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah anyway, I'll get the finish. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys, for having me. Yeah, and uh, my coach, Mike Wong, and Ethan, and John, all the team members, yeah. helped me to prep. So, where, 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 where's your gym? I'm training at the Ongar Jiu Jitsu. Nice. Which is in Vancouver, Canada. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Nice. Vancouver, Vancouver is yeah. West Canada? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.